teach CBSE 10 Maths. Hey guys, this is Tina. I teach CBSE 8 Maths. Check out our videos on the playlist. Alright, now let's get into the video. Today we are going to be learning Chapter 14, Statistics, Exercise 14.1, Sixth Question. Alright, now let's read the question. The table below shows the daily expenditure on food of 25 households in a locality. So you guys know this is a table and this shows the daily expenditure on food for 25 households. Okay, So for 24 uh, households you know, they are showing daily expenditure. Okay. Okay guys, so what is the meaning of daily expenditure? So expenditure means uh, they are spending. Okay, so uh, this table, no, they are showing how much they are uh, spending for buying food for 25 households in a locality. Okay, so this is the following data. So find the mean daily expenditure on food by a suitable method. Okay, so we are going to solve it by a suitable method. So it's your average, you can suit, uh, you can um, use any method, but be careful that use that method which can save your time. Okay. So here I'm going to use direct method. It seems easy here. So I'm going to use direct method. Okay. Okay guys. So I just drew the table here. And here when you just check it out. No, I just wrote it as it is. Otherwise you can just take it as class mark. And this one you can just take it as F5. Okay. So that is frequency. So these are all frequency. So since I'm going to use direct method. What is the formula? So the formula is X bar is equal to sigma Fi xi divided by sigma fi okay so here we are supposed to find xi value as well as the fi value already they had mentioned so we are supposed to find xi value at first okay so first when i just find xi value no then i'm supposed to find fi xi value okay of course you guys know the we are supposed to do it like this okay so how to find xi X say how to find means upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. Okay. So here what is the upper limit? Upper limit is 150 and lower limit is 100. So 150 plus 100 is 250. Isn't it? And then we are supposed to divide it by 2. So likewise when, when we just do know we will get 125. You can try okay. And then we will get 175 and we will get 225. And here it is. 275 and here it is 325 okay so okay so now we are supposed to find fi xi value so here when you just check it out here it is fi into xi isn't it they are in multiplication so we are supposed to multiply fi these are the fi so 4 into 125 so 4 into 125 is 500 okay so 5 into 175 is 875 12 into 225 is 2,000, uh, 2,700 and 2 into 275 is 550 and 2 into 325 is 650. Okay. All right. So now we are supposed to uh, do the total of FI. So the total for FI is 25 and here when we just add everything, no, we'll get a value that is 5,000. 275 okay so here what i'm writing you now that is a total okay total okay so now i know the fi xi value as well as the fi value so i can actually substitute them all right let us substitute them x bar is equal to so in sigma fi xi value is 5275 isn't it so 5275 divided by sigma fi fi value is 25 so 25 so now what we can do is we can actually cancel it isn't it so let us cancel it all right so 125 is 25 and and we'll get a uh, 15 25 table right so we can cancel this also so 25 twos are it is 50 so balance 2 so when it will come balance to you know it will be 27 right and then 125 is 25 balance to again 25 so 125 is 25 so finally we got x bar value was 200 and 
or 11. So what is the meaning of this x power value? So here totally they are spending rupees 211. Okay. So in the locality they are spending this much rupees for buying the food. Okay. They just uh, they uh, they were spending rupees 211 for buying food. Okay. In the locality. This is the answer. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any doubt, comment me in the comment section. Catch you in the next video. Bye.